And when you bring in a photon of, of the right amount of energy, it will excite that atom to a, what they call a higher orbital state, which is further out from the nucleus. But when it goes from the lower state to the higher state, you don't see it make the transition. It's not a continuous like, oh, I'm going to go up there now. No, it disappears and then it reappears in the new orbital. So in that jump, that's what they call a quantum leap. It's jumping, it's discrete, it's not continuous. So where did it go? Where did the electron go? It went into the quantum field. And then, an, and then another electron appeared out of the quantum field in the new state. So that where it went, that is the gap. That is the quantum gap, the quantum realm, right? The portal into the quantum realm from this classical or physical kind of manifested reality into that place where all possibility is. And another thing to think about is that when the electron is excited into that higher orbital state, there's more space, more empty space in between the nucleus and the electron. So that empty space is where the quantum realm is contained, is, is in the emptiness, in the gap. So when it comes to accessing the quantum realm, you need to focus on the gap, not the objects, not the events, but the space between. So rather than you know seeing this object and that object, we look at the empty space between. Rather than thinking about the event of uh, the time of that event and the, the time of that event, you think about the in between, the silence between the sounds, the pause between the breaths. Uh, so that is our way of transitioning to focusing on the gap to accessing that quantum state. 